Good afternoon everybody, welcome to Craft Stash Live. Thank you for joining us for yet again another live this week. This is our second one of the week. We have another two to go. Yes, we've got one tomorrow and one Friday as well. So lots going on on Craft Stash, but this one's really exciting for everyone in the Craft Stash family because this is our very own lovely Katie Skilton launching her own collection under the Craft Stash and Co brand. Now you've seen Craft Stash and Co before. They have been uh, with Marta de Beechka, Ashley Thompson. Who else have we had? We've had someone else. Um, oh, of course, Sasha Reed has also designed. And now it's Katie's turn. Now, Katie, I, in fact, I'll let I'll let Katie introduce herself rather than me introduce her. Katie's been working with us for a long time. And um, Katie, lovely to have you join us. Thank you so much for taking the time. This is really exciting. Really exciting. Yeah. So this is yeah. It's really exciting. It's so nice to be back you know doing what I love obviously it's kind of a separate thing than my day job that I do um, yes. when I work with you guys so it's really nice to be looking at craft product and kind of looking at designing it again and coming up with ideas and yeah absolutely we, so you talk about day jobs so would you like to let everybody know what do you do for your day job now so I am the government manager at practical publishing so I basically oversee all those gifts that you get on magazines I oversee kind mm -hmm. of from concept to design to the finishing project, to the projects that you see even on the um, product when it comes. Fabulous. So I do all of that. Well, I do all sorts of things, but that's mainly what I do. <laughs> and we love having you work with us as a company. But I mean, I've worked with you for many, with you, alongside you for yeah. many, many years. Um, cool. We met. I want to say you're looking at about 2010, 2012, yeah. something like that. Um, when we were both working for a company. I won't say the names, I think the company's changed names anyway, it's irrelevant, but you know, we've both gone through the craft industry, so I know how creative you are, and it's fantastic isn't it? that we've both fallen into these jobs, doing what we love for a living, it's amazing. But so, so lucky, it's, um, yeah, we are you, really kind of lucky to do it. You have, yeah, I feel really lucky actually every day, but you have this amazing style, and I think it's such a shame that over the past few years we've not seen that style as much. Um, but this is your opportunity to show the world what you're all about and it's beautiful, absolutely stunning. Um, I can't wait to go, I'm gonna start opening actually papers. Would you like to tell us, while I'm doing, just getting these out, uh, where did the idea, the concept come for from this range? So I wanted, obviously I'm known for this very clean, kind of simple design, um, yeah. very floral, quite pretty with bright colors. So I wanted to come up with something that was quite floral, but something that was a little bit different. And I thought, well, how about, obviously I look at a lot of things when I'm doing cover mounts and things, and I thought, well, how about we do something where the flowers can pop out of something, but you can also use them to stand alone and just use them as floral design. So I came up with the envelope and thought, actually, you've got a multi-use, because you can use the envelope for gift cards or mm -hmm. little mini cards if you want to. You can use the flowers on their own, or you can have them so that this envelope kind of bursts with um, florals. Absolutely. I think what we'll do very quickly, while you're actually talking about the product, uh, let's come down and take a look. So look, we've got a, a die set here, we've got a stamp and die set, we've got another stamp set and then we've got the papers. And sh should we start with the papers, Katie? Yeah, let's start with the papers. So as I say, kind of very me, kind of these bright colours but always against white. I love putting white in projects. Yes. Um, so you've got these lovely pinks, the teals, turquoises. My favourite colour. Red in there, and kind of small ditzy florals. I prefer to keep patterns quite small because I think I don't particularly make a lot of big cards. So for me to have small patterns, it's really important when you're making smaller cards. Absolutely, of course. Uh, yes, absolutely. So otherwise, take it. The design just gets lost otherwise, doesn't it, if it's yeah. too big. I love these. These are so good. Do you know what? I can see Christmas with these as well. Yes. Easily. Yes. See a lot of Christmas, don't you, with the pinks and the teals now, like modern Christmas colour palettes. They're stunning, they're absolutely stunning. And these are going to make such quick cards, aren't they? They're beautiful. Yeah, so they're really good for the cards. Equally, they will fit inside the envelope as well. So if you just want to put a little note inside an envelope, you can ah. pop that. Maybe you could pop a gift card on one of those, couldn't you? And then pop it inside. Perfect. I'll come to that envelope next. So these are 8x8, eight eight, 190 GSM. There's 24 sheets. So there's six designs. So what's that? Uh, four of each? Does that count right? Yes. I think so. Something like that. All they smell amazing. Anybody else who sniffs paper? I love they the smell of paper. <laughs> smell gorgeous. You're talking about the envelope. So we've got the envelope here. 18 dies in this set. I'm going to take everything out. I'm going to have yeah. a, a So obviously though. the largest die in there is the envelope. Um, so it cuts it and it scores it. So it's really easy. You literally just cut it out and then 
fold well your score lines when you've got this pretty um, envelope, but it also gives you the element to decorate the envelope. So you know if you want to add patterned papers to an envelope, you've kind of right. got to measure it and you've got to get the border right and it yes. becomes quite a task. Um, it's got all the dies that do that for you in there. So you can cut your envelope from plain card, then you can cut all the little elements from patterned paper, stick them together, and you've instantly got this beautiful patterned envelope there. Gorgeous. I'm just uh, getting grabbing all the pieces. So we've got the envelope, we've got a mat there with a the torn edge. The mat there, that can go on the back of the envelope. It also fits inside the envelope. So if you want to do a little gift card to go inside there, you could use that one, or you could just stick it on the inside. If you're doing the florals popping out of the envelope, obviously you're looking at it the other way around. Yeah. So then you can kind of see that coming from the inside. Excellent. Um, uh, you've got all of these little bits to panel every, literally everything that can have Yeah. Gorgeous. And then you've got your little kind of plates there, so you can pop your sentiments onto them. So you've got your oval, and then you've got the little fancy frame there. Gorgeous. So they layer together. They can be used separately. And, and then you've got all the floral elements. So you've got your kind of flowers and your leaves and your hearts. Um, Perfect. And obviously you can build all of those up, they lay on top of each other, you can use them singly, Gorgeous. Um, have leaves coming out, and obviously they can all be shaped as well, so rather than having them flat, you know, you can shape them with the ball tool. Of course. Um, do, you, um, do you actually have any examples there um, to hand of yes. any cards you've made? If I just come back to you, uh, let's pop you in there while I tidy up here. I've got some other things to show, we will show the other stamps and and such in a moment but we'll just have a look at these first of all before I forget um, so what have you got what I will do if I show you the ones with the envelopes with the dies first of all yeah and then go through the stamp Perfect. stamps so, that way. so this is one here so this is using the envelope with the flowers all coming out of it so you can love that it all kind of pop out and you can make it really full um, just kind of like they're all over stunning oh, and then I've got one with just the hearts. So this oh, is wow. springy hearts. On, uh, <laughs> oh, that one's come unstuck, but little hearts on craft wire there. So all the hearts spring out of the um, envelope. Yep, I love that. Absolutely love that. And then, actually, I've got this one as well. So this is a little embroidery hoop thing I did. This was oh. just using the florals from it. Do you know what? The, the florals from that set, the set that we've just looked at, I'm going to use those all the time. They're going to be the ones that sit on my desk constantly, and I That's, just keep yeah. running them through. They're kind of go-to florals. Sometimes you just need to put a flower on something, don't you? Absolutely. Um, so these are really good where you can see there, I've just really simply, these are used flat now, so I've just simply used mm -hmm. the flowers um, flat, and then just the flowers again, just around sentiments, they work really well. They do. Um, another one with the florals oh, i do so... i do like florals <laughs> now yeah these they're perfect they're absolutely beautiful now these cards katie uh, i think most of these are going to be able to be seen photos of on our website yes so if you go to www.crosslash.co.uk you're going to be able to see those images pop into katie's collection so you're going to find it under the brand craft session co it's called uh scent with love so if you put in scent with love or katie skilton the items should pop up um, and yeah if you hover over you'll be able to see images of these cards um, so they are absolutely stunning should we come back and t have you got sorry have you got any more I, I'm want just going to show you one more it's going to be difficult to figure out so when I was doing this I thought you know what that envelope would be really nice on like a gift box mm -hmm. if you were given a little gift and you want to put a gift card in as, as well mm -hmm. so what I did was I kind of got this little gift it's full of biscuits so I've got to be careful how I shake it oh. and I filled the box of biscuits and I put that little card in I just thought it's a really nice way to deliver if you don't, I mean, if you've got time, unlike me, you could put homemade cakes in here. Um, unfortunately, I just put a pack of biscuits in I it. I wouldn't have known. You could have said they were homemade. That's fine. Homemade. Shall we edit this out quickly? Yeah. <laughs> no, but, you're fine. So it's a really good way of just, just adding a little decorative things to different projects, really. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. I love them. I love them all. And the more you show me, the more I want it. So let's just look at the final two items that um, we've got as well. So we've got the stamp and die set here. So this is one with the stamps and the dies. Now more florals. You do yeah. like the florals, don't you? So these are a little bit more vintagey looking. If you like, the stamps make um, come off a little bit more vintagey. So again, all of these have been designed so the stems will all pop um, pop out of the envelope. So. You know, you can use them standalone if you want to, but equally, and I've, I've got some more to show you here actually with the stamps. Oh, okay. Let me just all the florals come out of the envelope. Um, 
in a different way. Lovely. So I'll just, I'll just, I'm just seeing whether I've got a piece of paper or something. I think that's plain. Just something plain, which I think I found is craft. But oh, yes. so we can just see those stamps. They're a little bit easier. They are gorgeous, and they're a really good size as well. Yes. I mean, so I mean, I like colouring, but I'm one of these people who's always in a rush. So I wanted something that they can be coloured quite quickly. You know, you haven't got a because they're not too small and they're not too delicate, they're quite easy to add colour to. Yeah, absolutely. And I suppose things like if people enjoy paper piecing, things like yeah. that will be easy. And you've got the die for every single one. Is that correct? It looks like that is correct. 15 and 15. Perfect. Love that. I mean, there's nothing worse, is there, than having a set when you've only got some of the outline. I know. Of the dies. What is that I about? I don't know about you, but I tend to just use the ones with the dies then because I think, oh, I can't deal with them. Exactly. Exactly. So, sorry everybody, I have got the windows open today. It's a bit warm. So, um, if you hear the odd car, that'll be because it's lunchtime. Um, and I'll just I'll come back to you in a moment, Katie, to see those other cards. I'll just do this while I'm here. And here's your sentiment stamp set. Um, gorgeous. I mean, sending love, have the happiest of birthdays, just a note. You don't have to be perfect to be amazing. I love that. I really love that. I'm going to stamp yeah. that all over my daughter's bedroom, I think. <laughs> There's, there's so much in here. If in a garden of flowers, I'd always pick you. Happiness blooms from within. I love that you've also got the postmarks as well and these lines so you can build up your, your envelope I, theme. Yeah, I have used those so much. The postmarks just finish off the project really in a way. They just add that little yeah. finishing touch to it. Absolutely. Okay, shall we have a look at those last few bits that you wanted yes. to show us? So we have one here which has got the little sentiment poking out and then you've just got floral elements there perfect then you've also got kind of this which is bursting with florals so all the florals are really kind of popping out and um, again you can see the little postmark there as well gorgeous and then flower the florals can just stand alone really as well so you've got them just on their own and then i've got tags here that i just made some tags where they just or stand alone so again it, it's kind of having that ability to use them on their own or pop them in with the envelope absolutely i think this is just going to be one of those essential sets i mean if you're a beginner card maker you've got everything you need you've got your backgrounds your sentiments and your embellishments here uh, if you're an experienced crafter this is going to work so well with other things that people are going to already have in their stash i'm already thinking of ideas ways i can mix this with things like my textures items and stuff. yes so love absolutely love all of it um, so we've got some demonstrations from you thank you very much before we go over to those I just want to mention there is a going to be a giveaway today um, let me just come back so you can see me a little bit bigger because I'm a bit tiny at the moment <laughs> we'll come back to Katie in a moment so there is going to be a giveaway someone's going to win the whole collection all four items are going to be coming out to one of you what you need to do this week is go over to our YouTube channel and go to the community tab so find craft stash on YouTube you'll see across the top on our channel you have home videos playlists all these different options there's one called community and did you know that's kind of like a news feed or a blog where there's posts often put up there so you can go there and find the way to enter the competition for these and we'll announce the winner or contact the winner in a few days we'll give you a few days to enter that maybe a week or so so uh go and be doing that after please don't do it now please don't do it now after the live so let's get on katie we're going to um now watch one of your videos can you just tell us a little bit about what you make in this first video yes yeah, so the first one is looking at that card with the hearts and the springs so i yes. wanted to kind of show how i used the craft where i curled it around and had it all popping out of the envelope because although the envelope's flat it's got quite a bit of wiggle room inside that you can put things in so you've got that bulk in there ah. so yeah so that was just using the hearts with the, or the springy hearts excellent <laughs> fabulous okay so we'll go and look at that and we'll come back to you in just a moment everybody enjoy this demonstration so my first demo today is going to be using the envelope die. Now obviously this is kind of the main component of this collection because it's the Scent With Love collection. So this envelope you can do so many different things with because obviously you can have it and you can pop your gift cards in it, but equally you can use it so you've got all your flowers coming out of it. So what I've done, I've pre-die cut quite a few of these pieces rather than you watching me just die cut them all. So this is the envelope die. And then we've got these pieces here which decorate the envelope. Your lovely kind of fancy frames there, which will be great for your sentiments and then some of your hearts. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to start by folding the envelope. So obviously the envelope, it cuts and scores for you. So we're just going to go along those score lines there and make sure they're nice and flat and folded. And 
is going to be the top. So I'll pop that there. So these pieces here fit perfectly onto your envelope. So you can see, no, wrong bit. So you can see that it's really easy to create that lovely decorative effect without having to kind of trim paper that's down to size and things. So all of that's been thought out. So all the dies in the kit also decorate all the um, envelope to make it really easy for you. So I'm just gonna pop these on here. Now the side pieces, each side is different. So you wanna make sure that you've got the right side stuck on the right side. Um, that's it. So like that, and then you get this lovely even border all around it. So what I've done here, you can see I'm using kind of lovely bright colour cardstock. So what I've done, I've tried to coordinate the cardstock um, with the pattern papers in my collection because they've got lovely turquoises and pinks, um, the whites, the reds. So I've just used cardstock that coordinates and it just keeps it looking lovely, kind of it gives you that lovely professional finish when it all works really well together. So what you need to remember now is when you're piecing this together, this is your envelope and the pattern paper, if we're sticking this to a card, this is the bit you want to decorate. You don't want to decorate that bit because that bit's going to be stuck down. Um, me being me, obviously forgot that the first couple of times, it's stuck up the wrong way. So that's for that side. So we'll pop that bit down. Just hold it in place until it holds. And then we'll do the same here. You don't want too much because we don't want it popping out the sides. Just enough that you know it'll hold. Hold that there a second. There we go. So now we can pop this patterned paper on the inside of our envelope. Open. Yeah, so this is kind of really pretty, looking pretty now already. There we go. So what I want to do, I'm just going to grab some, um, I've got some 3D foam pads here, yes I have. Pull those back. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this global shape now and this is the stamp set so this is the sentiment stamp set so it's got various sentiments in it all kind of fun nice sentiments that you can use for lots of different occasions I'm just going to stamp that into the center okay, so that can dry for a couple of seconds I'll move that one out of the way and we'll get some 3d foam pads and we'll pop that one onto this plate here so there's lots of layers. You've got kind of the envelope layer, you've got the layers where you can put the pattern papers on, then you've got the tabs and the tags. So lots of different ways you to layers. And even if you wanted to use these just as envelopes, you know, I'd say you could pop gift cards into them, um, but they'd be really good at Christmas, dare I say, maybe for making little advent um, calendars as well. So we'll pop that one on there, like so. Okay, so now I've got my envelope. Now what I've done now is I've taken some craft wire. So I've already done two of them. And I've just cut a piece of craft wire like this, straight piece of craft wire. And I've taken a pencil and I just want to turn this into a spiral. So I've just wrapped it around the pencil. Like so. That one's quite a bit bigger than the rest. So I'll leave it like that. And this is giving us this. So this is what we're going to pop our hearts onto in a second. Just trim that one down. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this and stick it to the envelope. Now obviously you're going to need some hot glue for this. So I've got my hot glue gun here. Oh, it's dripped off. And we're going to stick that coming from the envelope. And maybe we're trying to stick it down at the top a little bit. Like so. And then we're going to repeat that with the other two. So just try and leave a little bit of a flat edge at the base um, of your wire, just where you can add the glue to it. Just makes it easier to stick rather than trying to stick the spirally part. We can always clean up the hot glue afterwards. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take these hearts. So these hearts that I die cut, um, from gold glitter card. I'm just going to pop these 
onto these um, wires and it almost looks like the heart is springing out of the card if you like. So I've got various sizes here so we'll use lots of different sizes. What we will do is, if you can use a lot of these in a minute to really pop them on, they'll cover up the glue that's underneath the spring. I'll make sure I position them like so. It just gives it that lovely kind of, you get a fun 3D effect on your card here. <clears throat> Something a little bit different. I say a lot of these are designed with florals in mind to have the florals popping out. But I just thought this is something a little bit different and the hearts were so cute, kind of felt like they needed to be used. Pop that bit off. Oop. Stuck to my finger rather than the card. <laughs> And then just the other side. Pop the large one again at the bottom, I think. This would make a lovely save the date um, card, actually, if you were sending out save the dates. A wedding invitation is a fun, different way to do it. Just hold it in place. Oh, I've got more glue on my fingers than I have on the hearts now, so. Let's just take that small one and we'll pop that one down. What I'll do is I'll just trim off that little bit of metal that's popping out there. Lovely. So you've got your kind of springy hearts there now. Um, so what we can do is we can add on this little part here that says hug. So I've just chosen the hug stamp. I'm just going to pop a little brad in there because the hole's there so I think it looks nice just to have the little brad it just adds a little bit more detail really pop that one in there we go see if I can hide those there and I've just popped some 3d fun pads onto the back of that one as well just going to put the glue gun out of the way a second Yep, we'll pop that one on there. So to add this one to a card, so what I've done is I've taken, um, this is a six by six card here, and I've just trimmed some pattern paper. So again, this is one from my set of papers. This is a really pretty heart print. And we will just, my glue's dried up again, hasn't it? Um, so I'm going to leave a white border around the card and then I've cut this is also from the paper collection so this is a really nice kind of stripy um, paper and I've tried to do prints that are quite small because I know obviously the envelopes not very um, it's not a huge six by six envelope so we kind of want small print so that it works when you put it onto the um, envelope as well so we'll pop that on there and then this one we will pop onto the card now see if my glue's working definitely got a glue blockage in there somewhere it's um it's not very happy let's try again there we go nope that on like so so I'm going to pop it slightly to the side and you've got kind of this really fun card we've got the springs coming out of it with the little hearts on so that's the first card that I've made today obviously there's still more to come but there is the first one using the envelope die with the hearts and the sentiments
There we go, what a beautiful demonstration. I love the, I love the springy hearts, that's my little sign for springy hearts. I'm gonna be doing that card, hopefully this afternoon actually, that would be a brilliant one. I've actually got a, an auntie who's a bit poorly at the moment, so that might be actually a really lovely get well card for her, I might do that. Um, so Katie, thank you so much for doing that demonstration. Now I know we've got another two demonstrations to go through as well. Um, before we go to those, um, I just want to remind people first of all about the competition. Don't forget you can go over to the YouTube channel and enter to win Katie's brand new Craft Stash & Co collection, Scent With Love. I love the scent, the title as well. Did that, yeah. Was that built around the envelope theme? Yes, yeah. yeah, it was kind of, you know, when you do something, you think, right, what am I going to call this? And it was like, well, it's kind of obvious, really. It's scent with love, isn't it? Absolutely. It's, per it's absolutely perfect. Um, yeah, that was a really beautiful card. Now, Katie, I've just had a look while we were watching that video, and we've got all of the items available individually. So we've got one for $7.99. Eight ninety nine, eleven ninety nine, and there's another one, and I can't remember the price. I apologise. I think something like fourteen ninety nine, something like. That. Someone will correct me, I'm sure, in the comments. But the whole bundle is only thirty four ninety nine. Now that's phenomenal value, and if you are purchasing the bundle, that means that you are going to then qualify for free delivery in the UK as well. So it's a win win. And don't forget, of course, if you know if you're uh, if you get your points on craft stash things like that, they all add up. Uh, lots of uh, lots and lots of benefits of sticking with craft stash and keep an eye on our emails as well for offers like that all the time um now i've done my housekeeping bit katie do you know what the next demonstration video is yeah so the next one i was going to have a look at the envelope and just show you all the die cut flowers inside to show you how the flowers pop out rather than the hearts or springs just a more traditional kind of sensible card with the hearts uh, with the flowers kind of bursting out of the envelopes so all the die cut and um, flowers lovely perfect okay brilliant we'll take a look at that and then we'll come back after this so demonstration we're going to have a look at the envelope again i'm going to have a look at the, some of the die cut flowers that come in the envelope set because i say when i had this in my diet let me start that again when i designed this in mind i had that the flowers could come from the envelope but also be used separately so i'm going to have a look at the die cut flowers this time so i'm just going to die cut the envelope here Move this one out of the way so I've got a bit more room. In true crafting style, I've never got enough room to actually do anything. So this is the envelope, so this is obviously flat, and we're just going to fold it. So we're going to use the score lines to fold it along. Create the envelope. There we go. So I've die cut some of the decorative elements from it, so they are here. So I've die cut these from the pattern papers and I'm just going to pop these on now. So as I said previously, these enable you to decorate the envelope um, lovely and evenly. So you've got that lovely space, even space around all of the borders there. So I'll pop this one on. Right, let's work out which side this one goes on. Make sure I've got it on the right ones. Yep. So we'll pop these onto the sides. So again, because the envelope is going to be open on this side, you want to pop this um bit on the inside rather than the outside of the envelope if you're given it as an envelope with a gift card inside you pop it on the outside but this is going to go on the inside so let's just seal up the envelopes a little bit of glue on either side just hold that in place in place and then we've got this ready to decorate so i've die cut this bit so this is a little bit now you could stamp your sentiment on there and you could have it popping out of your um envelope or you could attach a gift card to it but i'm just going to use that on the inside and pop it actually as an insert with this just to add some nice color to it have it like that so what we're going to do we're going to add this to a card so i have got a six by six inch card blank here and i'm just going to mat and layer some card stock onto it pop that down 
then pop another white panel on top. So I do like white cards. This is obviously, I've trimmed this not quite six by six because it fits one side more than the other. Um, I love to have white space on my cards. So by adding that matte of blue behind it, it just gives it some color to help that white pop rather than just pop it straight onto a um, card blank. And then I've got some of the heart paper here from the paper pack. I'm just gonna stick that along the center there. Now, the envelope can be placed onto here, so I'm gonna pop that on now, and then we can have a look at all the floral elements and see how we can place them coming out of the envelope. So let's just pop that on like so. So I'm gonna pop that at a slight angle. What I'll do, I will just use a 3D foam pad to pop down um, the top there, because I kind of want it to be standing off a little bit. If I use a foam pad, that will do that. So I'm just going to grab my ball tool quickly, actually, which I forgot to pick up. <clears throat> so let me just, no, I forgot my foam mat, so I'm actually going to improvise here. So I've got some 3D foam pads, um, and I'm just going to use those as my mat. So what I'm going to do, I've die cut these flowers, and I'm just going to shape them um, before I pop them on the card, just to give them some kind of like a 3D effect. Little centre onto that one, and I've got a whole mix of flowers here, so I'm just going to kind of have a play around with those, um, layer them up, and add the centres into them. <laughs> add a centre onto that one, it just gives them a nice finishing touch with the centres in them. That's what I've got here. I'll bring them in actually so you can see. I've got another large one here, so I'll shape that one slightly. I don't know where my foam mat's gone. It's I really need a serious clean out. That might be a job for later on actually. I'll pop the centre there. So these are made up flowers now. So these slightly smaller ones, I'm going to layer two of these together. So they're shaped a little bit. So put those so that it's at an angle. Just shape this one, pop that one to the side. And then I've got some of the greenery, so some of the leaves here. So I've cut these from a couple of different colours of green, as you can see. Just curling up the leaves a little bit. Lay these out. So obviously you can use these flat if you want to. It depends, I suppose, if you're posting it as well, or whether you're actually giving the card to somebody. Now I've flattened all my 3D foam pads now, they're not very 3D now, are they? There we go. So we've got all our little elements there. So what I'm gonna do, I want to stick some of them flat um, and some of them 3D. So I'm just kind of gonna pop some of these down now and then the leaves can go in between them in a second. So we pop the flowers down first. one kind of out of the envelope a little bit so some of them can be in and some of them can be out and what you'll find is now we've got the leaves that we can start popping around the floral so they can start coming from oh, from the flowers there a little bit I think we'll have one Maybe coming out of the envelope again. And really, I'm just looking at filling in that space so it doesn't look like the flowers are floating 
if you like. That one coming up from there. Obviously you can play around with this a little bit more until you're completely happy with it. So I've also actually I've die cut a couple of hearts here because obviously this is like scent with love collection so you kind of need to have actually I'm going to move that one out of the way have some hearts in there as well so I've just cut these from um cut these from some glitter card I'll pop those so that they're coming out of the envelope as well Maybe coming out there, and a couple more leaves coming down here. Got space for that one. That one can go there on top of the leaves, actually. Lovely. So what I'm going to do. Just going to add a couple of little gems to the centre of these flowers. We've got some. Oh, I've got my pokey tool there that'll help. Just pop those into the centres just to give it a little bit of sparkle. So, what I've done is I've got a sentiment here. Um, this is just the congratulations sentiment. So this is from the stamp set, the sentiment stamp set as well. So what I've done is I've heat embossed that one so that it's got some lovely gold on it. Let's make that one a bit smaller. And we can pop that there. So that could be used for any occasion. So just a quick, simple kind of easy way but you can see all the floors work with the envelope another gorgeous video absolutely stunning so um kate if you come down come down come down have a look at the product if you're just joining us katie skilton has launched today on craft stash her brand new craft stash and co collection these are the items we have got a gorgeous 24 sheet paper pack we've got a stamp set full of sentiments that are just going to be your go-to's all the time um and speaking of go-to's these as well the envelope die with the florals all the frames the mats and layers there's lots in there as well and then lastly we've also got this flower stamp and die set everything works together absolutely beautifully we've already seen two demonstrations of katie using these um we've still got another one to go actually katie you're spoiling us another a third demonstration um before I go, can we find you on social media, things like that? Where can we find other examples of all your yes. cards? So I do, I'm do. i on kind of Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest. Um, is it just Katie Skilton? Is that what well, Katie Skilton UK is my Instagram. Perfect. Katie Skilton is um, on Facebook. But yeah, um, I need to kind of start updating. Now I've got something to update it with. Obviously, yes. I'll start to update it again because it's been a while. So... It all needs a little bit of a refresh, but I'm going to add all these projects on and photographs of them over the next couple Brilliant. of days. So. Absolutely. And if you've not seen Katie's cards before, uh, I know she's held some up already. They are absolutely stunning, honestly. She has a very clean style that I admire because I just want to put ink splats on everything. So I love Katie's style. And speaking of that, let's take a look at this last demonstration before I recap everything we've gone over today. So for my next demonstration, I wanted to show you some of the floral stamps. Obviously we looked at the envelope and the dies earlier and the sentiment stamps, but also in the set, I've designed these beautiful floral um, stamps here. So they're all, these are quite vintagey looking, so you can completely change the look of this envelope. Now obviously you can have these so they poke out of the envelope and you've got all the florals coming out, but equally you can use them on their own. So for this, I'm gonna make a tag and just to show you how you can use these kind of a standalone stamp. So I've just pre-die cut um, a tag here. So just some, some blue card stock and some craft card stock. And this one, I'm gonna make a little bit vintagey. So the other one was quite clean and simple. Um, but this one, I'm kind of gonna distress a bit and use more vintage colors. Um, because I think these can lend themselves to that style as well as the clean and simple style. So I'm just gonna add some tea, no, sorry, this is tattered rose. Um, 
had a very distress ink along the edges of this tag here. And what we can do is we can piece the tag together and then I can show you um, the four stamps in a bit more detail. And let's just pop this one on. layer that one onto there so and I'll just add the little eyelet there now and this all can just dry while we're looking at the florals so I'll pop that to the side now what I'm going to do I'm going to stamp on the floor some of them I've already pre-stamped because you don't want to watch me stamp and colour them all so I've just stamped this one I think this is one of my favourites actually it's a really pretty floral um, stem and the beauty of these is obviously you can stamp them you've got lots of different floors which means you can start to build up bouquets so I'll just show you some of the other ones so these have already been coloured in here and um, bring these in I'm just going to colour this one so I'm quickly going to colour in um, this one here and I'm going to use, use it, sorry, I'm just going to use a couple of different pinks here so I'm going to use a darker pink on the end of the petals just to really make it stand out and then go over it with a lighter pink to give it some sort of shade in there so it's easy to work out because obviously you've got the lines in these stamps so you can see where the darker colours go and almost where the shadow is going to sit there we are. just start to blend these in a little bit Really pretty, I think. Just very delicate florals. And obviously, there's so many things you can do with floral stamps and dyes, it's just kind of endless, isn't it? It's got those key staples that we go back to time and time again to use. Just add some green to the leaves here. So, all of these stamps come with the coordinating outline dies, so none of them need to be fussy cut. All of them can be die cut around, which makes life very, very simple. So I'll pop this in and I've got the outline die here. So I'm going to pop that one onto my plate and then just place the outline die so it cuts it perfectly around it. There we go. Die cut that. There we go. So while I'm here, actually, what I'll do is I'm also going to stamp the little postal mark. So the postal mark is in the sentiment stamp set, um, but it's just kind of that cute, fun sort of finishing touch. So we'll pop that one and I'm going to colour this heart. So I'm just going to add some pink to this heart here. Um, and what I'm going to do, I've got some nesting dies, some circle nesting dies, and I'm just, basically I've found a circle that matches it. Um, best matching circle so when you cut around it it fits it pretty well so we'll pop that one on do I cut that pop that one there so if I move my die cutting machine out of the way now it gives me a little bit more room Just pop that one down and spring in the tag. So really, we want to be looking at the floor. So some of the floors I'm going to add using 3D foam pads and some I'm going to lay flat. So the larger ones I will lay flat kind of in the background a little bit. And then the smaller ones we will use 3D foam pads for. So let's just pop these down first of all. So I want it so it kind of comes off the edge a little bit just to add some interest. You can have them so they're kind of springing various which ways. That one I'll have in the centre. So what I think I will do, actually I've stamped, what I've done is I've stamped one of the sentiments here. Um, obviously it's quite large. Let me grab a pencil. I'm just gonna trim this one 
to the size of my tag. So I'm just going to position where I want the sentiment to sit. If we say here and here. I'm just bringing my trimmer in there. And I'll trim that down to size. So now I can kind of finish in the leaves so that they're coming from the sentiment in a second. So for the sentiment, I'm just going to use some 3D foam pads. So we will pop a few in various places. Down. So I'm just going to kind of cover the stems slightly so it looks like the florals are popping out from the stems. And then I've got the other bits here so we can see now where we want to pop these. And I'm going to use 3D foam pads on these just to give it some dimension. Let's pop it a few on the flower head there. I'm not going to worry about the stem because the stem I can stick down with the glue afterwards. I'm going to have that one kind of popping from there. And then I think we'll use that one popping from there. So I'm just going to kind of fill in the gaps now. From where I've stuck them flat, um, I'll fill in the gaps with some 3D elements. So I think I'm pop that one there. And then I've got these bright, these ones that are coloured in kind of brighter. I can work out where they're going to go. So maybe we'll pop those. Yeah, that's quite nice. So we'll pop those coming in from there. So again, just a couple of 3D foam pads on each of these. Have that one. Kind of cover. Oh no, I don't want to cover my flower too much. There we go. I can always move that one over a bit. The beauty of foam pads is you do get a little bit of wiggle room for a while. And we'll pop this one on the other side. Put it that way. Hmm. I could sit here all day and fiddle around really trying to decide where one leaf's going to go. I don't want to cover up that floor too much. I think I'll have it like that. Lovely. So the little tag, um, no, not the tag, the poster mark. Again, I'm going to pop that one on with 3D foam pads as well. Pop that one on there like so. And then I've just got a little bit of string because obviously it's a tag. So we'll pop some string through the top. And I've done a few of these. And what I'm going to do, these are ideal for kind of just when you buy gifts. So if you're given maybe a bottle of wine, you can tie it around a bottle of wine. Um, they're just handy to have. I've done a few of these now. So that's that one. So you can see this is kind of more vintagey looking um, than the last demo. Actually, I'll show you. Look, three identical. Well, they're not identical. Are they? They're never identical when you make them yourself. Um, kind of really pretty floral tags and just something a little bit different than the last demo I showed you. Thank you so much for showing us those demonstrations, Katie. They are absolutely beautiful. As you said, we can find images of these photos from yourself on all the social media platforms, just uh, Katie Skilton UK. Craft Stash, of course, have been sharing images all week as well. Uh, and it's Craft Stash that you'll find the offers. Um, lastly, I just need to thank you again for a designing this collection because it's one of those that I never knew I needed but I absolutely do um, and be for joining us today because I know you're super busy um, people are going to be seeing you on TV very very shortly <laughs> very shortly um, and of course hopefully much much more on the craft stash channels as yeah, well yeah I hope so it's, it's, I say, it's just been such a pleasure it's lovely to get back to doing what you really love it's, it's it really never is. like a job is it oh absolutely it's not it's not a joy it's very busy i know there's a lot of hard work goes into yeah. creating these items but yeah it, we do still enjoy it that's why we're up till midnight doing it <laughs> <laughs> well yeah thank you so much for joining us i will re go and recap um prices offers and things and hopefully we will see you again very very soon thank 
Yay. Enjoy the rest of your week, Katie. Bye. Take care. Bye bye. So it's a lovely Katie Skilton with her brand new launch from Craft Stash & Co, Scent With Love. You can find all of these now available on Craft Stash, that's www.craftstash.co.uk. Prices from, I believe it's $7.99 is the lowest price, which is absolutely fantastic. But do you know what, if you can stretch, $34.99 gets you all four items. I mean, let me just add this up. Okay, so we have got 16 stamps there, 15 stamps, there are 31 stamps. There's 33 dies in total and 24 sheets of paper. There's a lot to be getting crafting with. And if you've seen those examples from Katie throughout the rest of this video, you'll know how much you can be doing with it. So $34.99 for everything. That then takes you over the threshold for free delivery in the UK as well. Well worth looking into. And if you've got free delivery, you may as well pop in your essentials like your cardstock and your glues and things. Okay, so that's me and Katie done for today. Tomorrow I have another live. That's actually going to be a little bit later in the day. That's going to be at 6 p.m. with the lovely Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. She's going to be launching the Planner Essentials range. And then on Friday, I have another celebrity crafter with me. They're all in this week, aren't they? I've got Pete Hughes from Sizzix joining me at the usual time of 12.30 for the Tim Holtz Autumn launch. So join me for that as well. You can find all the events on Facebook and they're scheduled on YouTube as well. So you can make sure you um, hit the remind button, hit the event going button, whatever they are on each platform so that you get the reminder. Okay, take care, everybody. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you very soon.